Hey guys, I am the Comics Kid 2099 and I am here to do another rant video. I know that on Sunday I posted a video where I was ranting about yet another stupid thing that DC Comics has done. I won't get into that here because you can go and watch that video and you can see what I was talking about. Usually I like to try and space my rant videos apart. I don't want this to be an angry YouTube channel where I'm constantly complaining about stuff, where I'm constantly upset about different things that are going on. I want to try and put out a positive outlook, a positive message if you would. So this is not a very normal thing for me to do to put out another rant video just a couple of days after I've done one, but this is something that I really feel like needs to be addressed. There are certain, I guess you could say, celebrities in the world that none of us really like, am I right? And now, for each of us, it may be different. Most people, I'm just going to put out a few out there that most people really hate with a burning passion. Recently at the VMAs, I don't even know what that is, I think it has something to do with music videos or something, you had this uh, former Disney princess girl, Hannah Montana slash Miley Cyrus, she apparently did a provocative dance and everyone and her mom started yelling about, oh no, what happened to Miley Cyrus, oh no, she's not fit to watch, oh no, she's the worst human being in the world, oh no, she should just put cement blocks on her feet and just jump in a river and die. This is where I just really don't understand this line of thinking. You've got people who say things like, Justin Bieber is the worst thing in the world. Why doesn't he just die? I don't understand why people like his music. They say the same thing about One Direction. They say the same thing about Miley Cyrus. They say the same thing about all of these people. I cannot tell you how many times I've heard people say, Yeah, Twilight is the worst thing in the world. Here's where I fall down on this stuff. I don't watch Twilight. I don't read Twilight, so I personally cannot put my opinion out there that Twilight sucks because I don't know if it does. Now everything that I have heard about it sounds kind of terrible, but at the same time I don't want to pick on these things. You know why? Because I like to think that I'm above that. If I don't like something then I can say yeah, I don't like that. But these people, they're going way above and beyond that. These people are, I don't want to say they're bullying, but they're almost kind of being bullies. It's like, yeah, uh, nobody in the world should like Miley Cyrus. Nobody in the world should like One Direction. And here's the thing, you know what? Maybe One Direction is not for you. Maybe they don't make music that you like. You know what you can do? You can be an adult and you can ignore it. You can just turn off the radio when you hear their music or don't even have presets on your radio for the kinds of channels that are going to play One Direction. If you think that this channel is going to play music from a band or a singer that you don't like, then don't turn your radio on that station. I am very successfully able to ignore these musicians because I only listen to CDs when I'm in my car. Yes, I'm so 1990s because I don't have an iPod, I just listen to CDs. And I am so sick and tired of when I go on YouTube and I want to listen to music because sometimes I don't listen to CDs, I listen to music on YouTube, and I will see people in the top comments, they've got a thousand thumbs up and they're saying, this is better than One Direction crap, this is better than Justin Bieber, this is better than Miley Cyrus, and I just have to say, people, if you don't like it, then ignore it and shut up and let everyone else have their own taste. I don't really know what else to say here. It's just kind of infuriating to see these people, they spend so much time and energy trying to complain about things that they know they're not going to be able to change. And I don't understand how they derive pleasure from complaining about these things that they clearly cannot change. Do you think that the world is going to be a better place if you have 1,000 people who agree with you that this band or musician or movie is a really terrible thing? Here's an idea. If you don't like their music, then put out your own music. Show the world what you're capable of. And if you can't make music, then stop complaining about the music that they're making. Yeah, they may be sellouts. In fact, I'm probably sure that most of those people that I've mentioned here are sellouts to some degree. But you know what? Even the celebrities who are sellouts and they are making music that you think is really terrible, even those people, they're not even in the top 30 things that I could be complaining about in this world. 
world. And even if they were in the top 30 things that you could be complaining about in this world, why bother? Because once again, it's not going to accomplish anything for you to go out there and say, do you know how much I hate Justin Bieber? No, I don't, and I don't really care. Now you might be saying, whoa, 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 you're saying that I shouldn't complain about Justin Bieber or One Direction or Miley Cyrus, and that if I can't play music, then I don't get to have an opinion. No, I'm not saying that. Clearly, I am a YouTube reviewer. I review graphic novels, I review movies, I occasionally review novels. I am not saying that if you are not of that particular profession, then you do not get to have an opinion. I think that would be a little bit hypocritical of me. But what these people are doing, they are not reviewing these things. They're just straight up bashing because they think that it's funny. And to me, that's where you really just need to draw the line grow up a little bit, and if you don't like those bands, then you don't have to like them. But go and listen to the music that you do like, and you don't have to even mention, hey, guess what, I don't like this band. You don't have to mention that, because no one else really cares if you like that band or don't like that band. Just like the music that you do like, like the movies that you do like, and then if you want to be critical, if you want to say, I don't like One Direction because of X, Y, and Z, then that's absolutely fine. You can do that because that's what reviewers do. And I know I've already said this, but I really don't think these people are reviewing. I think they're just kind of making fools of themselves, and there's a whole lot of other fools out there who are thinking, yeah, I totally agree. And so these people are kind of getting the spotlight, and it's like, why, society? Why? Why is this happening? So that's about all I have to say on this rant video, guys. I am curious, do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Are you one of those people who you go on all the kinds of YouTube videos and you say, hey, Justin Bieber sucks, and then like millions of people give you a thumbs up? If you're one of those people, then maybe you could tell me in the comments below why you think that you have to do that. Maybe uh, I'm just completely missing something and that I'm wrong, and you could say, hey, this is why you're wrong. This is why it's okay for me to yell about One Direction and tell them to go play in heavy traffic. And if you are one of those people, I encourage your opinion in the comments below, or you can make a video response. That is, if YouTube is allowing video responses, I think pretty soon they're not going to be allowing video responses anymore. So you can do that. And also you can like, share, comment, and subscribe if you like what you heard here and you want to see more videos from me in the future. And that's about all I have to say. So I will be back with you guys tomorrow for another kind of video. Until then, I will see you later. Have a great day.